Getting the kids to eat healthy during the holidays, well, that's not the easiest thing to do always. But one national nonprofit here in Houston wants to change that. So joining us to talk about Brighter Bites is Lisa Helfman. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Jacob. Okay, so people listening are say, wait, during the holidays, get them to eat healthy. So how do we do it? Where do we start? You know what? You have to make it taste good. Yeah. And you know what? Produce tastes good if we just help it just a little bit and we add a little something. So we bought some awesome recipes today that are in okay. the holiday style. A cookbook. That, yes. Brighter Bites cookbook. We have our first ever cookbook with 40 okay. of our favorite recipes that were developed by the Brighter Bites team. Will you tell us first what Brighter Bites is about? Yeah, absolutely. So we are trying to create communities of health through fresh food everywhere we go. We started seven years ago in one school after my son rejected cake in a birthday party <laughs> and asked for fruit, literally. <laughs> and I thought, okay, we're on to something. So we started one school in Houston with 150 families. Today, on average, we serve over 30,000 families each week. Oh my gosh, that is yeah. so many families. In six cities across the country, and what we're just getting started. Thing to do. And so we've brought a couple of things today. Looks like brownies, wait a second. What's going on? You're like, wait, you told me this is healthy. Right. Well, it's healthy because we have beets in these brownies. So my oh. co-founder, Dr. Srila Sharma at UT School of Public Health, came up with this recipe, and you are welcome to try it. I Hold promise you will like it. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wow. Right? It tastes like a brownie. It tastes like a brownie. <laughs> Beets have natural sugar, so you don't have to add a lot of extra sugar in them. They're very sweet. They make the brownie really moist. And your kids really will never know, and they're getting a lot of mm. nutrients. Oh, um, so true. I oh, know. Good. Okay, so I'll keep going. <laughs> so this is our Brussels sprout pear salad. It's beautiful for the holidays. I put it on my Thanksgiving table every year. You can do the same at Christmas or even just for lunch. Um, the sweetness of the cranberries added. Brussels sprouts are super popular popular. Wow. Maybe when we were kids, they were boiled. They weren't that excited. Right. Now we are jazzing them up and getting people showing them that this vegetable can taste really delicious. Wow, it does taste really good. And the pumpkin shake? Yes. Sorry. So that's okay. It's our pumpkin spice and everything nice smoothie because we're a little bit kitschy at Brighter Bites to make it fun. And it's really simple. It's just bananas and pumpkin and spices, a few other ingredients, very low cost, very delicious with that holiday spice and everybody loves it. So how do we get a hold of a cookbook or maybe follow you on social media? Yeah, so brighterbites.org is our website. Okay. If you'd like to get a cookbook, it's easy. Just go to brighterbites.org slash donate, give us $100 or whatever more you're comfortable with, and we'll send you a cookbook. Um, we're on Facebook, Instagram. We have lots of great color and our recipes, cute children trying our produce every week. So come follow us. Try them out. Eat healthy. You can find this information and replay of the segment on clicktohouston.com. After the show, we'll post it under the community page, and we will be right back.